Okay, so we are continuing to talk about tolerances of form. And last video we discussed straightness. And in this video we are going to discuss flatness. Now, flatness, a simple way to think about it is if we take the principles we discussed when talking about straightness and th where we were talking about line elements, we can translate that into a three-dimensional plane and the tolerance is applied in a similar manner. So whereas a straightness tolerance, we were looking at our same example here of a plate a flat plate. Um, we cut sections through the plate and then we, we were examining any the resulting line element and that line had to lie w within a tolerance band or a tolerance zone. With flatness it's a similar concept but it's applied in three dimensions so it's applied to a plane. So here we have a plate uh, the same plate we looked at in our straightness example and we see a flatness tolerance symbol and the same value we used before in the, to in the tolerance frame of ten thousandths of an inch and that is applied to the bottom surface of this plate. So what does that mean? Well it means this surface, the entire surface, needs to be flat within ten thousandths of an inch and how is flatness defined? Well. I'm going to jump into our cam system real quick and um, here we have the plate and you can see that we have established two planes shown in red here okay and I'll rotate it around so you can hopefully see that and you can see here's the bottom surface of the bottom surface of our plate and it's bounded by these two planes these are imaginary planes shown in red here okay now what flatness is defining our flatness tolerance is those two planes are separated by the ten thousandths of an inch that we saw in our tolerance frame. So the distance between these two planes, these two theoretical planes, is ten thousandths of an inch. So this surface, the bottom surface of this plate, and I'm just going to color over the uh, edges of the surface in yellow here but that surface this bottom surface of this plate the entire surface at all points must lie between these two imaginary planes which are parallel to one another separated by ten thousandths of an inch. So when we talk about flatness we're saying that a planar surface or a planar element must lie between two imaginary planes which have a distance between them equal to the tolerance value in the tolerance frame. So <clears throat> in, in real life what what we could see would be a flat or flat plate which it may be bowed like this okay and then so it would that surface would have to be between these two planes which in this case this plate is bowed so badly that it's out of tolerance. Um, you could have a, a 
plate where the bottom surface is wavy and in that case as long as it's within the two planes and I'm drawing this as an edge view because it's simpler to draw but uh, the entire plane or the entire surface of the plate would have to lie between these two planes here and again that's in three dimensions so we're looking at this surface in question must lie between these two imaginary tolerance planes and that is flatness.